Welcome back to some more Timberborn. If you missed the last episode, we've been working on water storage. So this building here pumps water out of the river and it has space for 15 water. And this beaver, once this gets filled up, he takes the water and puts it into this storage over here. Um, if we didn't have these storage bins, it would just sit in here until they drank it. But we do have some storage. So he takes it once it gets full at 15 over to the storage bins. These each hold 30. So we have spots for 90 water as well as the 15 that gets stuck in the water pump. That's how the beaver beavers get to drink water. They don't go to the edge of the water and drink it out of the river. They pump it out of it and that's how they get water. So that will help them stay that helps their basic thirst need. And we are working on getting uh, three more of these built and we're building another water pump. So eventually we'll have more water storage and more water coming in at a time. Last time we also worked on this dam here to help keep water. So right now the water is flowing through because it is the wet season. So all the water is still moving through, but as the dry season starts, this will block it so that it doesn't go as long as it is within where that hole is, uh, that or under, it will keep the water sitting there it does evaporate but slowly so that should keep water in here for a little bit at least when the dry season starts and then the other thing we did last time was we worked on food we are getting carrots now as you can see here um we have spots for 200 carrots here and they're actually not even putting it in there yet that must be just sitting in here so they have 50 spots for carrots in the farmhouse and then 200 over here we do have a little bit of berries we've got 10 berries we've got 40 or sorry we've got 10 carrots and 46 berries so right now we have a total of 56 food which I feel like when we started this world, we have had over a hundred. So I'm a little bit worried, depending on when the dry season starts, that we may end up starving. But since the carrots are coming up, I think we're doing okay now. It's starting to go up a little bit. So, oh, what is this? No good selected. So the storage things won't let you store anything in them, it looks like, unless you pick something. So I'm gonna pick water. We're gonna keep these as water things and I might as well go through and do all of these so they can just start putting water in all of them as it gets built. So yeah, so that's what we did last time. We worked on water, food, and getting this dam built so that when the dry season starts, we've got the backup water. And in this game specifically, there's only two seasons. So you have what we are in right now, which is the wet season. This water is just continuously flowing in to the world and the water keeps the area close to it hydrated, as you can see. And in that green area, we get to plant trees, we can plant crops, the berries grow, things like that. And then in the dry season, if there's not water staying in there, then the that area turns turns brown like all of this and then the plants will die and things like that if it if it takes too long to get more water so having the stand built will help us later to be able to continue growing carrots and berries and trees and all of that I guess it depends on how long the drought is because if it evaporates or if we pump too much water out then we'll be in trouble later but for now we are good so I think the next step on what we want to do is we want to get a forester going and actually now we have enough science i think so let's take a look here wood forester so the forester allows you to plant trees and bushes uh, we're gonna need planks to build this darn it so um i'm gonna unlock it because i think that this is gonna be the next thing that we want and i don't want to use my science points on anything else um and i'm thinking i'm gonna put it somewhere over here maybe just like in in this spot so it's it's in the brown area but I'm gonna pause this for now because we can't build it anyway, we don't have planks. And I need this to be high priority. And this is gonna be the next highest priority. So that while the water is still flowing and this once this water wheel is built, it will turn and it will create power for us. And then this lumber mill takes power to work. I'm gonna need to use the water wheel in order to use that, work this. That's why I'm doing this one first, but we need a lot of logs to do that. So it's gonna take some time. And I know I have, what do I, I got somebody here. This is a lumberjack station. So they're cutting down. They've already got all these trees done and they are going over here and getting all these. And then I've got two people in here 
cutting down trees over here, but we're almost out of trees in this area. So we really need to be careful. I guess I do have some here. Can this one reach over there? Oh, it can. So I could select these. What are these? These are birch. So it only produces one piece of wood per tree, but I'm still going to chop them down because I need more wood to build all the stuff that we've got. Oh, that was not what I wanted. Oh, what is this? Barrier. Oh, so if we get rid of that barrier will it allow water to kind of stay in here that'd be cool i mean i guess i don't know what i would is that just i get, could store extra water because it's not like it goes to the rest of my village so it'd be interesting if i did that but anyway well, that's a future future thing um so right now the way that their uh work cycle works up here if you look we have um these are their working hours so they work 16 hours a day and i can lower it or increase it depending on what i need them to do but 16 hours seems to be a pretty good solid time frame they work the whole day so um this shows you it gets uh, starts to get light right there in that little notch and they start working then and they work all the way until this blue thing here so if I go down it go it moves that little notch up or down depending on where I put it so that's how long they're going to work till so right now they are working all the daylight hours and then at nighttime they go rest and they go do fun things and stuff like that so right now I'm just going to leave it I don't really feel the need to change that but now that it's daytime they are going to get some stuff done around here. We've got people getting wood and we really need to get this built. Okay, 51% of the way done. They're just waiting for materials. Oh, but I need this done and I need this done before I can build the forest. And I'm going to need wood to make lumber too, I think. Logs. Oh my goodness, this is going to be close. This is going to be a close call. I'm not sure. Did I select all these trees to be chopped down? Let's see. I did not. Well, there's only a couple, but... Oh, and this person can only reach these. They don't reach any of this stuff. Not that there's much out there, but yeah, we got to get these built. We want to get the forester done so that we can start planting trees because really we need trees. That's what our biggest hold up right now is, is getting those trees. I feel like they didn't get everything. Do I have two people working in there? Oh no, I have only have one. Oh, I got people without jobs. So I'm going to put somebody back in there so they can help d dig up these carrots and we can get more food. Because we got a lot of storage for carrots and we're not really getting a whole lot of them right now. I do really want to get going on the rest of the housing too, but I feel like that is not a priority compared to this. This is really what we need so we can get more wood. Once we get more wood, then we can build a whole bunch of stuff. But right now, we can't plant more trees until we get this built. And this takes planks. And the only way to get planks is this building right here. So that is what we are focusing on. Oh, good. We've got this. I'm going to lower this priority down to this medium low because we've got a couple more. And we really just need to focus on getting this done. We need, we need it. We need it. I mean, we're using the wood so quickly, it's not even getting stored in here, really. It's just going to get built. Oh, yes, our power wheel's done. Yay! Okay, so that is producing 126 horsepower, and this, I think, takes 50, yeah. So we have a lot of power. We could actually put something else here, too, if we want to, while this is going. And for now, I mean... I'll just leave it because we don't have anything else we need, but that'll be good for later. Okay, good. We're starting to get more food. We've got 35 carrots. We've got 76 berries. Um, and the berries, I feel like, are almost gone. Although I guess maybe, since I only have one person gathering it, maybe by the time they get down to the last bush or two, maybe these will start producing again. I don't know. 39%. So probably not. But that's okay. We got carrots, so we should be good for a little bit. Um, having that second person in there gathering this, the carrots is definitely helping. And we still have one person that's not doing anything, so hopefully they, well, they'll be going into the lumber mill once that goes, so that'll be good. Let's look at the well-being really quick. So we have their hunger needs are met, their thirst needs are met, they are sleeping, and then their shelter. So I wonder if the sleep thing is only if you work them too long over here. Um, if you like have them working all day, maybe they don't get sleep and that goes down. But I feel like only a few of them have housing, six of them, and all of them are sleeping. So that sleeping on the ground must not be a problem. Six of them have shelter, but the other ones don't. So that's why we're still at a negative thing there. Wet 
fur. So we got to figure out a way for them to get their fur wet. I'll have to look into that. We've got carrots, which helps a little bit. Not all of them are eating carrots, which is interesting. I guess the more different kinds of food you give them, the better they feel. And there's like so many other things, social life. So putting up a campfire and things like that will help. Lots of stuff. So I guess we'll have to look into that too once we get going. I well-being so like teeth grindstone to help with broken teeth rooftop terrace campfire so these things help them with their social life but they take wood so i probably won't make them yet but maybe once i get the forester going i can put in some of those so they can be a little bit happier and then we will have harder working beavers because they'll be happy and then if we can get up to 15 well-being then we can unlock the iron teeth so eventually we can try this new breed of beavers Ooh, and we have another spot to store berries so we've got two spots right now to store berries plus the this thing here which is where they gather the berries they've got 20 berries in there Okay, it looks like it is daytime. They are starting to wake up and go to work. Hopefully this will get built pretty quickly because I think they have all the resources. They just need to sit there and build it. We've got two builders right now. So they're building that. And then we can move some of the logs into here too. Oh, it's done. So we got somebody working in there. Perfect. They are going to turn logs into planks. It takes 1.3 of their hours to do that but we need logs in there to do it so it's gonna take some time to get that over there oh they're bringing some logs over right now so we should be okay oh and our berry storage is full so this person's not even doing anything right now so i don't know i mean i guess maybe we should up this priority have them build that small warehouse so we have more spaces to build the stuff Oh, and these guys wait why are you guys sitting there oh because everything's okay i guess might as well pause these because because they're they don't have any wood to chop down i don't know if i i wonder if i built a path or something over here if they could get these trees but i definitely need more trees so let me try it i'm thinking i could probably build it under the water but i don't have stairs yet and i feel like where is that at it's in here stairs cost science and planks so i may have to wait a little bit on that I guess maybe this person can chop down enough trees. Maybe I should put another person over here. Maybe I should put it up top here because I want to get these trees too. I'm going to put another path in. I want it like right next to the building. And then maybe I'll put a path this way and put another um, forester up here. Or not forester, whatever this is called, lumberjack. I feel like if I put it up here, yeah, they can get these trees too, which will be helpful because this person can't reach it. And then I can put one of those people that was a lumberjack over here. One of these lumberjacks can go work in here. We do have two people that are unemployed, but I don't really know what else to have them do at the moment. Okay, so the other berry thing is done. I'm going to have them work on this. And then I'm going to switch this to high priority afterwards because... Yeah, and we need logs. Why? can't get all required materials. I'm wondering why it says that. Is it just because we don't have a lot of logs right now or what? So we'll have them finish this house that way all of the beavers have housing. I'm gonna put this down to a medium low for now and I will have them build that eventually but I really need this science machine then we can get more stuff going and then we also need this and how much does it take for, it takes seven planks so we need three more planks for this and then we need 10 logs actually this i'm gonna do medium high and then i'm gonna turn this into high that way once we get the seven planks i'm gonna have them go ahead and build it well, this is done we've got space now for more berries we're getting 33 carrots at a time um, maybe this is too big of a farm for just one of these farmhouses to do on their own i don't know or maybe i'm just not giving them enough time to come down here and get them i guess we'll see we got a little bit of space left for these some more berries and then I feel like that might be just enough for what we've got here because this um we've got what eight bushes left we've got space for 16 more berries so I guess I don't know how many berries are produced on each one does it tell us no okay we've got four out of seven planks in here and we've got two over here so we just need one more plank to get made and then we can build this and i might pause this uh lumber mill once we have enough planks to build that so that 
they don't use logs for this anymore, making planks. They use it to build this building. But we will see how that goes. Nice. Everybody has a little house to live in. 11 adults. All of them have sleeping spots. And we have space for one more, which means that we may have a baby beaver soon. Oh, you know what? I just realized I have it going really slow. <laughs> okay, let's turn up the speed a little bit. Okay, we've got six out of seven planks here. Okay, all seven are done. I'm gonna pause this for a minute and we're gonna just let them use the logs for other stuff. Okay, nothing to do in range. So I need to plant some trees, trees and bushes. So birch trees take nine days to grow and they produce one log per tree. Pine takes 12 days to grow and they produce two logs per tree. Maple takes 30 days and they produce eight logs per tree. Chestnuts take 24 days and four logs per tree, but they also produce chestnuts. This produces the maple syrup, I I'm assuming. I'm thinking about just doing like, start with a small amount of birch because those are gonna grow the quickest. Let's start here. Let's do everything that's green here. We'll do some birch, just like that. I'm gonna do one more row of birch. Then we're gonna do pine. We're gonna do a few rows of that here. Maybe one more row of that. Maple is like the most efficient, but it also takes the longest to grow. I'm just gonna kind of fill this in. We'll see how that works. So this person or this beaver can plant all these. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them do that. And then, so these ones will grow. It takes nine days for them to grow. So it is gonna take a little bit of time, but they'll be a little bit faster. And then eventually we'll get to a point where we'll have a bunch of maples coming in. So maybe I'll change this to maples once once it switches. But for now, the hope is to get some trees growing here and then we'll continue going that way. We've got all the logs in the inventor's hut. So we are working on that, 76% done. Then we'll get um, some of this science a little bit faster because right now we only have the one. Um, and then I think we're gonna be doing this lodge next because I don't think we really have, oh, we got this too, but. Ooh, we're at five well-being. Okay, they're getting the birch done really quick. Hopefully it doesn't take them long to get these trees planted. Once they get all this done, I might add more. I might just fill this whole area with trees. I'm not really sure. And now that we have some more science coming in, we may be able to do stairs. What's this look like? 70. So we're almost there. Once we get 70 science points, we can unlock the stairs. And then I can maybe have them come down here and get some of these chestnuts too. I mean, I could have them go this way, but this is blocked off. And I don't think I could put a path on there. So yeah, this way will be faster anyway. Oh, good. They got this done. They got the other science machine done. Oh, and we got 74 science. Okay, so let's unlock the, the stairs. I'm gonna have to turn the planks maker back on, but we don't have any beavers to do that. Oh, this guy's just sitting there not doing anything because there's no room to store it. So I think I'm gonna pause this for a minute and I'm gonna have him go over, hopefully to here. Yep, he's going in here to make some more planks. So we can get planks to make stairs and then I'm gonna put wooden stairs right in here and maybe just across like that and then we'll put a path in here and then they can maybe chop down some of these trees although i guess this might be too far away well we'll see once this path goes because if they can run over here with these guys then i could have them working while we're waiting for our trees to grow Okay, well, it looks like everything has been built at this point, other than the stairs, of course, but they can't really do that without the planks. They need four planks per set of stairs. So I'm thinking about what else would I need? So this hauling post, if I put this down, haulers assist workers within a district in carrying goods, greatly increasing their productivity. Right now, like the water person, that person, once it fills up, they that they stop pumping water and they go take it into the storage. Same with the berries and the carrots and the planks and all of that. So if I get these haulers, then there's a, just people sitting there moving resources around so that the people in their jobs can focus on what they're doing, which is pretty cool. I'm kind of feeling like somewhere in here, maybe? I don't know. I wanna kind of keep it in the brown area because then I'm not wasting any of the space that I could grow resources. 
And I haven't put it here. I feel like it makes more sense to have space behind here. We'll see. I'm not really sure, but hopefully that'll be a good use of space. What is this? Oh no, he's got a broken tooth. Okay, so I need to find a spot to put that. Is it well-being? Teeth grindstone. Can I fit it in here? No. I could put it in here. Actually, let's see. I think there was a spot behind here. Yes. Okay, so let's rotate it and put one in there. And we'll let them build that. And then this. This needs planks too. Oh man. Okay, they got these stairs done and they're working on this one. So let's see if these beavers can get here. So once these stairs are built, hopefully they can gather some of these trees too. And this guy is still have, has that broken tooth, but hopefully once this gets built, it takes five logs. I'm gonna put it up to high priority. That way it gets done pretty quick. And they've got almost all the carrots out right now. So, oh, but they are they haven't gotten down here. So I'm wondering if it would make more sense to put another farmhouse in and grow some more carrots and they can kind of help each other out. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Okay, look at this. He's got all of the birch trees planted. He's working on the pines right now. And these are 26% already. So by the time that these uh, maples start growing, I feel like these may be already grown. So that's nice. Ooh, we've got a baby beaver. Yeah. And we should be getting more because we've got more space. So hopefully that happens. Got three empty beds. Is this done? It is. So let's see how far they can go. They can go all the way to here. And maybe they could go farther if I was able to put a path in. I guess we'll see. Let me um, mark trees for cutting down over here. And then... We'll see what happens if they can get some of these closer ones torn down. Then maybe I can put in a path and they can get farther. We still don't have... Oh, just like that. Three days until the drought comes. So uh, hopefully we've got enough resources and this dam stays good for a little bit. Um, should I build more water storage? Then I can stop pumping water for a bit. Maybe... I think I am going to build some more water storage. I'm not sure how, if it's going to get built before, um, before we get to the drought, but at least we'll have it going. Okay, so this is done. These guys, oh, they're not even doing anything right now. That is done. So we have fixed. Okay, so the guy that had the broken tooth has fixed it, which is good. Looks like this beaver is just hanging out. He must not have anything to do. Oh, he cut down all these trees. You've got, he, okay. So I'm gonna pause this and he can go in here and start working in this one. And then does this guy not really have anything to do either? Yeah, he's pretty much done, I think, as well. So I might have him go over here and start working because, oh, where did the, this one go? Let's look, can I look at jobs? District center workers, which are building. Got a couple scientists, one water pumper, two lumberjackers, I think, or no, just one, a forester, lumber mill, two farm people, and then we got kids that are growing up, so. And I need to start thinking about where I'm going to put more housing. I wonder, I think I can stack them on top of here, but I also have to think about how they're gonna get up to it, which we do have stairs. Are we still using lumber for something? Oh my goodness, okay, no good selected. Oh, these are done. So water, let's select water for all of these so we've got more water storage. And then I don't have to worry about that. Which one lacks materials? This one, okay, so we need we need logs for them to make planks. And this needs more planks, so we need more wood. But these guys might have more stuff to get knocked down, it looks like. Can I put a path in here? Let me see. Nope, I can do that. Not that that helps at all. I mean, can they go over there now? Nope. But if they start knocking these down, then I can actually do it. I mean, I guess they chopped down the trees that were in there that had grown. So I could potentially put some more maples in there. Maple, can I put that there? Yeah, okay. Um, so I guess I'll have to keep an eye out for what they haven't been able to plant and when they knock those down. So these guys should be moving this direction now. Okay, good. They got that done. I could put another path in here, I think. Okay, so maybe they'll be able to travel a little bit farther. They can go to this one, but this one's in the way. Oh, darn it. I don't know. I guess we'll see. 
We'll see what happens. Ooh, and we have a beaver with wet fur. So maybe uh, going through the river here helps them get a little bit wet so that they get a little bit better well-being. Although I only have one of them going in there, or two of them, so I don't know if there's a way for me to get more of them to go in the river. I guess we'll have to see. We've got 200 carrots, or not carrots, 200 food. Um, 91 of them are carrots, so they should be storing some of it in here now. Okay, nice, nice. We've got 172 water, and we're not doing super great on the logs, but um, hopefully this will get fixed pretty soon here. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna high prioritize this side here so that if it ha if it opens up to where they can get to it, they'll actually be able to. But I don't think I can do much until these, this little tree goes and I can get farther in. So I guess we'll, I guess we'll see on that. Okay, so these two got knocked down. I could put some more plant trees, put some more maples in here. And we've got the hauling post done so that once we get enough beavers, They'll go in there and work um, to haul things around. But right now we don't have enough people. We do have three babies though. So as soon as they grow up and are adults, they can move into there and start helping out. But I think that that is where we're gonna end this episode. I guess uh, next time we'll see if we can survive this drought that's coming up and we'll see what else we can get done. It was nice to finally get some trees planted so we can get more wood hopefully. I haven't heard from anybody if you have any beaver name ideas. So if you want to give me some ideas, please list those in the comments below. Otherwise, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed the episode, please click that like button. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'd love to hear from you. So please leave me a comment below. I'll see you next time.